What's going on, you guys? So I saw a little notification on my phone, and it looks like there's a new dev diary coming out for Panzer Corps 2. So I wanted to kind of look at it and see what it's all about. Uh, there's some juicy screenshots right below, so that kind of caught my attention. All right, let's get right into it. Hello, all. Today we wanted to revisit the topic of random scenarios and talk about missions which you can play on various random maps, which we have shown before and attack and defense. There are classic mission types familiar from Panzer Corps and other similar games. The attacker starts from a limited bridge ahead, maybe more than one, and needs to conquer the rest of the map in a given time. It is possible to place such missions at rent on random maps as well, both as the attacker and the defender. Such missions will also play a central role in random campaigns. All right, let's take a look at this beautiful, juicy screenshot. Look at this. Got nice bombers here, fighters, escorts. Jeez. This, if this is not eye candy, I don't know what is. That is beautiful. Jeez, my gosh. All right. Let's take a look at this juicy one. Zoom in a little bit more. Look at that. Tanks here, port, a couple of ships, nice, I like it. All right, and free for all. This is another all time classic mission type, both for single player and multiplayer. Up to eight players can play a free for all mission, and they start in exactly the same situation with a single capital city under their control, while the rest of the map is neutral and needs to be conquered. The goal of the mission is to eliminate all opponents from the map. There is a time limit as well, but it is quite generous, and there's no need to rush. It's perfectly valid tactics to sit and, uh, and wait while other players battle out, weaken each other. <laughs> but you need to make sure none of your opponents becomes too strong as dear as a result. Each city uh, on their control increases players' income, so a player controlling a large part of the map is getting stronger every turn. I would per be the person that kind of waits them out <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> All right, so this is what a free fall is going to look like. Survival. This mission type is intended specifically for players who think that other missions are too easily in single player mode against the AI. In a survival mission, a human player is placed in the middle of the map while all the other opponents are in alliance and do not fight each other. The number of opponents can range from two to seven, and seven enemies attack from all directions can be hard to survive indeed. Yeah, that would be pretty much... Uh list, uh, and this might actually work. What I would do in this situation, I would gain these little spots here so this way I can kind of put uh this would be a really big I'd probably put the majority of my units here um, but as long as the terrain works in your advantage you might kind of hold out a little bit Team missions. All four missions uh, types described above can be played in single player or multiplayer mode. For example, it is possible to have two humans and up to six AI struggling for map control in a free for all mission. However, each mission type also has a team variant where two player two humans play co op against two. Uh, to up to three other teams. For example, it is possible to try and hold ground in a survival mission together with your friend against up to six computer players. Wow, that's a lot. In addition to mission types, there are several other parameters uh, worth mentioning. Shroud, in addition to standard fog, roll, fog of war, is po also possible to cover the whole map or some part of it with shroud, which hides not only units, but flags and terrain as well. Ooh, I like that. On such maps, recon becomes much more important. Shroud is a standard option in some genres like 4X, but in Panzer Corps series, it appears for the first time. That's going to be really awesome. That's going to, recon units are going to come in extremely handy for that. Neutral player. Normally, neutral cities on a free-for-all survival map are empty and can be captured by any unit easily. However, it is possible to turn on neutral player which will slowly build up defenses in neutral cities every turn. With this option planning, uh, capture of neutral cities becomes more complex. At the same time, your units can get some initial experience before engaging uh, your primary opponent, which is especially useful in a survival mission. Free deployment by default, the game places random starting units for all players automatically, but it is, but it is possible to skip this step and have proper deployment phase instead, where you will purchase and deploy your whole army within a given prestige and slot limits. Combined with different map types, all these 
these options provide a variety of random in random scenarios. This new playing mode is getting a lot of attention. We sure hope that our players will enjoy it. However, the classic campaign mode is not forgotten either, and we are right now working on a massive new campaign for Panzer Corps Two. In one, uh, in one of our next dev diaries, we are going to tell and share show more of it. Stay tuned. P.S. In past dev diaries, more people ask why we are showcasing screenshots without hex grid. The answer is simple. This is how we play the game internally. However, in today's post, we have turned up the he uh, turn the grid on to show how the game looks in this mode. Okay. Okay. Cool. So you can. I, I would. I would probably be one of those people that would have it on. Honestly, uh, I do like it. It's kind of subtle. It's not. Kind of blatant. So I really like this dev diary. It kind of gives you a nice little uh, uh, look into it. I gotta admit, these maps are gorgeous, man. I can't wait to get my hands on this game. Oh man! All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this dev diary. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you then.